Big Podcast. It's Build Big Podcast, the marketing podcast for podcasters. David Hooper here. Bigpodcast.com is the site if you want to grow your podcast, build a bigger audience, make a podcast that people care about. That's where to go. Bigpodcast.com. Also where to go, this podcast. I'm glad you're here talking about a trend right now in podcasting. This is something that I see podcasters doing, but not necessarily listeners. So if you have a podcast on podcasting, much like this one, there may be an opportunity for you. If you have listeners who are not podcasters, eh, maybe not. Let's talk about it. People are making it so that listeners can donate Bitcoin to podcasters via an app. Specifically, Satoshis. Satoshi is a unit of Bitcoin. It is 100 millionth of a Bitcoin. And in US dollars right now, here's what that is. That is 0.0005834 US dollars. So it's not even half a cent. It's not even half of a half cent. It's arguably not worth the electricity and the resources that it would take to get that money to you. It's pretty easy to set up. Here's what you do. You go to podcasterindex.org. You look up your podcast. You claim your podcast. Then you verify ownership on what's basically an IRC channel. It's a chat room. Or if you want another option, you can also put something on your feed. It's that easy. But you need to consider this. A lot of people don't have Bitcoin. They don't know what it is. They don't understand it. Also, a lot of podcast apps don't have the option to donate this way. Even if they did, though, let's look to the future. Let's assume that this thing takes off. There are a few things that you need to consider. The first is assuming that you know what you're doing. Do you know how to convert Bitcoin into U.S. dollars? And like I said, a Satoshi, 0.0005834. Meaning that if I give you 1,000 Satoshis, you're going to make six cents. And that's just today, this moment in time. Sometimes Bitcoin goes up, sometimes it goes down. Let's say it doubles though. You don't make six cents, you make 12 cents. I would argue that you are better off not having this option than having it. The first reason is that taking donation confuses people. People don't know if you are a business or if you're a charity. I've talked about a concept I call hooker versus wife. If you're out with your spouse on a date, let's say you go to dinner and at the end of the dinner, spouse says, pay up. <laughs> they hand over an invoice, want you to pay for the time because that's what you do with a hooker, right? You're paying for time and companionship. <laughs> that's going to confuse the relationship. You were on this nice dinner with your spouse thinking, oh, I was here because I thought you liked me. Didn't realize it was a transactional thing. Same for Patreon, by the way. If you've got something for sale, Patreon could be hurting you because people don't know if you're a business or if you're a charity. If you look at that word patron, what do patrons do? Patron of the arts. You're funding something that can't make money otherwise. So if you're trying to make money, you confuse that. Do you want funding or do you want money from your sales? Listeners need a clear message about what you do. I would argue that 99% of the time, probably more than that, you will make more money by selling your own product and service or even ads, somebody else's product and service, than you will something like Satoshi's via an app. And here's something else you might not have thought of. If people do donate, it feels like they are paying you even though they really aren't. I mean, they are paying you, but that Satoshi, since it's only worth $0.0005834, that is not a lot. And you've got a conflicting thing here. You've got somebody who feels like they're giving you money and you've got money, if you want to call it that, assuming you can get to it, that isn't going to do a whole lot for you. This is one of the issues that people have with reparations or greenhouse credits. And I realize that these are politically charged subjects, but hear me out. Can you buy your way out of bad behavior? If I want to burn coal or dump oil in my backyard, does buying greenhouse credits, does that alleviate the damage that I'm doing from those things? If I want to do something that's racist, such as maybe, I don't know, not rent to someone or not give him a loan based on the color of his skin. If I pay reparations, do those reparations cancel that behavior out? I'm not saying that we shouldn't have reparations. And I'm not saying that we shouldn't put money into green energy. 
But what I'm asking is, can you just throw money at a problem? Some people think that they can, and some people will throw money at you, not a lot, $0.0005834 and think that they're paying you. Not the same thing. This opportunity, maybe it's right for you, maybe it's not. Again, here's how to do it. Podcastindex.org. Look up your podcast, claim your podcast, verify ownership of that podcast, and you're good to go. And you can see if it's right for you or not. My suggestion to you, do it to see how it works. That's why I did it. People are asking me about it. How does this work? How do I do this? For something like that, it helps if I jump in so I can advise you on it. But what I'm going to do, and what I suggested you do, is drop it after that. I'm not going to mention it. I'm not going to ask you to donate that way. This is a business. This is not a charity. And if you want to support this show, let me give you something back for that. You can buy my book, bigpodcast.com slash book. If you really want to go deep with growing your podcast, go to bigpodcast.com slash blueprint and see what I have to offer in terms of marketing help. I will personally work with you to grow your podcast, attract an audience, spread a message, increase your influence, make a business out of your podcast. That's it. Let me know your thoughts on it. Feel free to reach out to me, bigpodcast.com. While you are there, subscribe to this podcast, bigpodcast.com slash subscribe. Got three buttons for you. One for iPhone, one for Android. One is a good old fashioned RSS feed. A lot of people don't know what that is, but you do because you're a podcaster. Wherever you get your podcast, I'll make sure each and every episode of this podcast, Build a Big Podcast, is delivered to you. So go there now, bigpodcast.com slash subscribe. And I will see you on the next episode of Build a Big Podcast.